Hello, this is a small video series where I explain the CYK parsing process for three adjoining grammars. And in every video, I will explain another one of the, the of the several rules. Here we have the three adjoining grammar given. This is the input string that we want to pass, and this is the tree that's supposed to um, stand there at the end if we have passed this input string with the grammar. We are using the gone address for the tree, that means our root node has the gone address epsilon, let's, let's use a readable color, epsilon, then the daughter nodes are numbered 1, 2, 3 and so on, and the daughter nodes of the second node, for example, are 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 and so on, so that are the gone address we are using. And, well, the, the indices we are using are somehow between, uh, between the strings of the input string, is between the terminals of the input string. The first rule I explained this video is the leg scan. And a rule is made like this. In be, um, above the line, there are the items we need to apply the rule. Here we don't need any previous rules, so we can use the leg scan right at the beginning when our chart is empty. And below the line, there are the new items we are allowed to add to the chart if all, if everything applies. Then we have a side condition. And the side condition in this case means that the label in the, in the tree at the specific node must be the same as the next input symbol we are passing. So we are right at the beginning. Our first input symbol will be the A. That means we can, we want to now add a new item to the chart. And the item, it says at the first position there is gamma. That means here we write down the tree we can, we can apply. So in this case, if we want to pass an A, the only tree where we have a terminal A node is this tree. So it's called beta. Then here we are supposed to write down the node with the specific gone address. Here it's the first daughter node of the root, so we write down a 1. And here this, it's what we add. It looks like a T, but it's a, a top symbol. It means it's to restrict the usage of different rules. It means that we are located at the top of the node. Then we are supposed to write down the span. In this case, because the first input symbol has is it's the first input symbol, or you can say it spans from zero to one. So we are supposed to write down our i is supposed to be zero. Then we are just writing down two blanks that will become important later in other rules. And here we are supposed to write down i plus 1. In this case, it's 1. So it's just the span of the input string from 0 to 1. Now I'm doing the same for every one of my input symbols. And I'm supposed to do it with every tree that applies. So for example, if I have, if I have three trees where we have an A terminal node, then I would have to uh, write down three different items for one A in the input symbol. But luckily we don't have to do it now because we only have those one tree with the A as a terminal node. But we have another A from one to two. So I will add another item with the same tree, with the better tree, at the same node, with a span this time from one to two, and the rule is just the same. Then we have the next input symbol, it's a C. So I add a new item for the C. The only tree with a terminal C node in it, it's a, or with a 
leaf with a C label in it. It's a alpha 2 no, 3. So I add a new item for alpha 2. In this case, it's again the first daughter node of the root. The C has a span from 2 to 3. And of course, I applied the same rule. And the last item we have to add, it's for this terminal B. The only tree we can use for that is alpha 1. Here we are in the second daughter node of the root. That means we are in, in the node num with the gone address 2. Again, it's the top position. And with a span of 3 to 4. And that's how the lex scan in CYK parsing for tree adjoining grammar works.